In the beginning, Shiva and Shakti existed in a combined form. However, creation was possible only when male and female energies manifested as separate entities. Hence, Lord Brahma urged them to separate for the sake of creation. But, Lord Shiva was grief-stricken at the thought of separation from Shakti. So, Shakti made him a promise that she would take birth as a human in her next life and take him as her husband. Their separation became the source of energy required for the creation. However, Shiva lost his better half. For Shakti, which literally means energy, had to disperse out into the universe for creation. Lord Shiva, lost in grief, forgot her words and engrossed himself in penance, forsaking his divine responsibilities towards the world. This made Lord Brahma anxious, as Lord Shiva is the destroyer of evil. Without him, his creation would face decay sooner than it had to. Remembering the words of Devi Shakti, he went to Daksh, one of his many descendants and his wife. He advised them to do rigorous penance and please Devi Shakti to get her as their daughter. And rigorous penance they did. Devi Shakti, pleased with them, promised to take birth as their daughter, but with two conditions. That, upon her birth, they would forget that she is a divine being, and raise her as a normal human child with their other children, and, if they insult her, even once, she will forsake her human form, and leave their lives, permanently. And thus, years passed by. Daksh had 61 daughters in the meantime. And then, Shakti came to Daksh, and his wife as their youngest daughter. They named her, Sati. Sati, grew up loving the tales of Shiva, told to her by sage Narad, who flew back and forth through the realms, and the castle of Daksh. Sati adored Shiva. By the time she was at the age of marriage, she had eyes only for him. She refused proposals of princes from influential kingdoms brought to her by her father. Sati decided to do extreme penance for a glance of her beloved Shiva. As Shiva himself had renounced worldly luxuries and pleasures, Sati decided to do as well. She left her father's castle and went to the forest to meditate. Sati began her rigorous penance enduring the caress of hot summer loos, slashes of stormy gales, bites of freezing winter winds, endless depths of dark nights, and dazing peaks of bright noons. She gradually renounced food, living on just a leaf a day, and then gave up even that much nourishment. This particular abstinence earned her the name Aparna, one living without a leaf. Days bled into weeks weeks into months. Months became years. Her penance continued. Lord Shiva, after testing her resolve, and finally recognizing his beloved, in human form, appeared before her and accepted her wishes. Sati, eventually convinced her father for her marriage. Seeing her happiness, Daksh couldn't express his disapproval. Thus, they got married. As per tradition, Sati then left with Shiva on his bull Nandi for Mount Kailash, the abode of Lord Shiva. There, they lived happily for some time. As it was only the calm. The calm before the storm that was to follow. <laughs>